while patients with spinal stenosis feel more comfortable bending the spine forward or adopting stoop posture, patients with spinal stenosis should walk as upright as possible because prolonged stoop posture can accelerate the wear and tear in the discs. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Tony Stiobudi, an orthopedic and a spine surgeon at Mount Elizabeth Hospital, Singapore. In this video, I will share the non-operative treatment options for spinal stenosis. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and click the notification button. I will share more reliable, up-to-date and trustworthy medical information about bone, joint and spine issues. Spinal stenosis is a degenerative condition that causes narrowing in the spinal canal. The nerves may be compressed. Patients with spinal stenosis complain of cramping pain in the calves, thighs, and buttocks when walking. The pain is usually relieved with sitting. In severe cases, the pain in the leg may be constant all the time there. If you want to know more about spinal stenosis, you can watch my previous video. As I have mentioned in my previous video, the non-invasive treatment of spinal stenosis include physical therapy, activity modification, weight management, and medication. I will go through one by one regarding these treatment options. While the spinal stenosis exercises, such as core strengthening exercises, are not a cure, it can stabilize the spine and slow down the wear and tear changes and can improve the symptoms. It is important for patients to remain active as tolerated and maintain the walking distance. Inactivity can weaken the muscles and become additional debility. After doing some physiotherapy session, most people can then transition to doing core strengthening exercises on their own. Stationary bike, leaning forward on the handlebars, is a good exercise for patients with spinal stenosis. The one that improves your condition is your own effort, the exercises that you do on your own. You have to do the exercises diligently every day. Some people talk about spinal brace. Personally, I don't advise people to wear spinal brace for spinal stenosis. Although it can provide temporary relief for unstable spine, in the long run, it can cause back stiffness and weakens the back muscles and worsen the spinal instability. In patients with severe pain, wearing a brace is typically only recommended for short periods of time. When the pain is better, they should take off the brace and be active and back to doing core strengthening exercises. It is advisable to avoid activities that worsen spinal stenosis symptoms. For lumbar stenosis, patients are typically in pain when they extend the back or carry heavy things. These activities should be avoided. Overhead activities often require back extension. It should be avoided or performed carefully. While patients with spinal stenosis feel more comfortable bending the spine forward or adopting stoop posture, patients with spinal stenosis should walk as upright as possible because prolonged stoop posture can accelerate the wear and tear in the discs. Our weight exerts pressure to the spine. It can worsen the nerve compression. If you are overweight, reducing your weight to the ideal level will help to lower the pressure to the spine and the nerves. Painkillers and anti-inflammation medications can help to reduce the pain so that the patients can do exercises. However, this should be consumed temporarily. There are medications to strengthen and improve the nerve function, which are generally safe and can be taken for a prolonged period of time. 
it is best to discuss with your doctor what medications are suitable for you. Mild to moderate spinal stenosis typically respond well to conservative treatment. If the symptom persist and become disabling despite doing core strengthening exercises, modifying your activities, and taking medications, spinal injection or surgery may need to be considered. In the next video, I will share about spinal injection and surgery for spinal stenosis. If you have any questions about spinal stenosis and the treatment, please write some comments in the section below. If you have experience with any treatment like traditional Chinese medicine, acupuncture or chiropractic for spinal stenosis, please share it here also. It may help other people with similar condition. Thank you for watching and I hope this information is useful. If it does, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share this video and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.